Growing up, society taught you to follow the script by choosing a career path and climbing the ladder. But for many people, this promise falls flat. Work suffocates them and life becomes painful. Here, you're trapped in what I call the corporate cage. Fortunately, there's a way out. You can take control of your corporate job and unlock a life of freedom. I call this living uncaged. Hi, this is your host, Matt Doan. I'm a coach, creator, and entrepreneur. Uncaging people is my mission because it's been my exact life journey. This show provides you the stories, principles, and tactics to make it happen. Welcome to Uncage Yourself. Today, I'd like to talk about mastering the game of incentives. And let's be clear, incentives are all around you. It's what drives us each and every day. We want to feel incentivized to do something. We want to see a reward for what we do, whether it's monetary gain at a job or (laughs) muscle building at the gym or a child's smile for doing something fun with them, right? You want to have that incentive in your world. So we're going to break that down. And before we get into that, I urge you, if Uncage Yourself is providing you value, please head on over to Apple Podcasts or Spotify and leave a quick review. It really helps us out. Thank you very much. All right, let's talk about incentives today. Straight up, humans are self-interested. Me, you, everyone you know, it's the way we are wired. It's because we are made for survival. This is ingrained in us. So we need to know what's the reward? What's the thing I get for doing anything in life? Saying yes to a project, going to the gym, eating the right foods, investing money, saying yes to a date. We want to know what are we going to get out of it, right? What are our incentives for saying yes to that thing? So I want you to keep this in mind, especially when you're working for a corporate organization. Because as altruistic as your company's mission might be, you've still got a bunch of self-interested humans running the show. Again, whether that's you, a colleague, me, like all of us are self-interested. Let's just remember that. We are humans until AI takes over everything, which I'm hoping we have a few more years on. (laughs) Everyone is secretly driven by individual incentives. What do I get? Just like you ask the same thing. What do I get by saying yes to this job, this project, this role? What do I get as an individual? So I'd like you to use this information to your advantage. And when you do this, it's not completely selfish. It's the idea that if you do it right, not just you, but everyone wins. When you understand incentives at multiple levels for yourself on up, on down, you can see that all boats will rise. So let's break it down. I want you to master the game of incentives. And we do that by understanding three different levers that I'll call here, okay? First, we need to be able to identify the incentives around us. The ones for us, for our boss, for our boss's boss. We need to understand what drives us, what is rewarded. Secondly, we need to target the correct incentives the ones that we are uniquely positioned for, gifted at, to deliver on, so that we are spending our time, our energy wisely. Hey there, quick break from the show. I'd like you to head on over to uncagedworkshop.com. There you'll find a masterclass I built that I'm really proud of. You'll see how you can end corporate burnout, reclaim 30 to 50% of your time, and learn to be there for loved ones. This is my absolute life's mission, so I'm really proud to share this masterclass with you. Again, head on over to uncagedworkshop.com. All right, back to the show. And then thirdly, we need to design our tactical days to meet those outcomes, to create those incentives for people, right? So identify, target, and design. Let's break down the first one, identify incentives. So think of your organization 
like a pyramid. At the very top, you have goals and objectives that are set by the upper echelon, CEO, C-suite, people at the very top, executive vice presidents, yada, yada. So they have goals and objectives that might look like, for example, we need to make X million over the course of this year, or we need to sell Y products or services, or we need to acquire Z types of clients, right? So they have these top level objectives of what success looks like. Because if they are meeting the marks at the top level, they're incentivized to do so, right? Their compensation is affected, right? The bonuses come. Let's just use bonuses as a very simple way. There are other ways that people get rewarded, but bonuses are a great way to think about this. Then that set of targets, those incentives, get cascaded down to the next level of leadership on down, right? Maybe this is your boss. And your boss says, okay, here's the small part I can play to create those top level incentives. And then that cascades down to you. What is the small part you can play to help your boss in turn, which helps your boss's boss? You can see how that pyramid plays out, right? You have this multi-level incentive structure where if you do your job, that rolls up to help your boss succeed, and that helps your boss's boss succeed, and then everyone wins. But if we're doing the wrong shit, we're doing things that don't move the needle, we do things that aren't rewarded or are outside of our strategy, (laughs) no one's winning in that case, right? It's the importance of strategy and good leadership. But the whole point is identify the incentives at multiple levels within your organization. Know these clearly. Ask around, right? You can understand in different ways. You might be able to look at your HR website and understand performance review criteria. Generally, what is your boss evaluated for every year? Or go ask them directly, hey, what is your set of priorities over the next six to 12 months? Why? Okay, let me get clear on how I can help you do those things, right? Understand from those you're working closely with, how you can support them, understand what they're rewarded for, because they want to get a good bonus, just like you do. And your boss's boss, they want a good bonus. Like, let's be clear. It's just the way it is. There are other incentives too, right? We have rewarding work and all that jazz, but I'm getting very tactical, very survivalist with you right now. We want good money. That's the indicator in most corporate organizations that you're doing the right things. So that's step one, identify the incentives at multiple levels within your organization. Secondly, then I want you to target the correct incentives for you. So your boss might have 10 things that they want to see accomplished that they'll be rewarded for, but you might only actually be interested in or well qualified to deliver on two of them, right? The other eight, don't waste your time on those. Let other people deal with those, but fixate on those two that you're uniquely gifted in, excited to deliver on and say like, hey boss, how can I help you do those two things? If it has to do with creating sales of a certain product, understand your role and how you can make that happen more rapidly, more effectively. How do you play your role with your strengths, your gifts? And don't focus on your weaknesses, but focus on your gifts to make sure that you are enabling those two outcomes. Because that's going to show up well for you. You're incentivized, say, every year. Bonus, compensation, promotion. Your boss will be incentivized for delivering on those two outcomes too. And it rolls on up. So play the role as best you can from where you sit. So that's targeting the right outcomes so that everyone gets incentivized, gets rewarded, right? And then thirdly, I want you to design your days, your weeks to deliver on these outcomes that are incentivized, right? So you've got, say your boss is still trying to sell these number of products, right? To these types of clients. So how are you actively gonna take control of your days, your calendar, your schedule, your time usage, your energy, so that you are fixating on those two things? How do you create the conditions in your environment? How do you design your days? How you show up at work? I'll tell you what is a really bad idea. Show up at work with an open blank calendar for everyone to take your time. Say yes to all the meetings, as ambiguous as they might be, as unimportant as they might be, and just to do it because everyone else is doing it. 
that is a way to go way off course. That is a way where you're not getting specific. You do not understand incentives. You do not understand the role you are meant to play and that you are uniquely situated in to play. Okay. So design your week, design your day. I'm talking like blank slate, get out a piece of paper, understand what seven days looks like. If you're only going to work within five, which is totally advisable, right? Do that. How do you design your days? How do you maximize your best energy? So you do deep work at the best time of day. So you minimize meetings or you do them only in the right portions of the day. How do you understand how you can best show up, right? And in turn, you're going to reduce the time spent and energy expended within your corporate organization. At the same time, you're going to be really well compensated, rewarded because you've understood incentives at multiple layers. You're playing your role. You are strategic. You are like a grand chess master. You understand the game. You're not blindly playing the game with no rules. You understand the rules. You are creating your own rules within the system because you understand it so well. That's the point. You design it so specifically to your advantage. Everyone wins, but you really, really, really win, okay? So zooming out for a second, when we master the game of incentives, it's about identifying them at multiple levels, targeting the right ones that you are uniquely situated and positioned to deliver on to help yourself, your boss, and your boss's boss, right? And then you design your day tactically unrelentingly, (laughs) if that's a word, to actively make sure you're spending your time on the right things, not all the wrong things. Focus on the 20% signal, not all the 80% noise that normally clogs your day and your time. Take extreme control. You know this is a theme about uncaging yourself. You have to be laser focused, surgical, on the ball. Everyone wins in this case, okay? So that's the idea. I want you to think about incentives, Go identify them, target them, and design your days for them, okay? I hope that helps you. Now, one last thing. If you want to get really laser focused here and keep reducing time, keep maximizing your impact while freeing up for the life you want to live, because that's why we reduce corporate work, right? So that we can build the life we're really excited about. We want to build that business, be there for family, create amazing memories, get healthier, start a hobby. like. As we reduce our time in corporate, I have an offer for you, and that's to head on over to matthewdone.com forward slash talk. There, you can book your breakthrough call. We'll get into the weeds on all the specifics, including mastering the game of incentives. We'll look at three things together. When you book that breakthrough call, my team and I will help you look at, number one, how your current job situation is limiting your life. Secondly, we'll look at what your life could look like in a massively better future that excites you. What is that picture? And thirdly, we'll walk through the exact step-by-step game plan for going from where you are to creating that badass future life of yours, okay? That's what we want to create, a career and life that you love, that's on your terms. So to book that breakthrough call, head on over to matthewdone.com forward slash talk. It's the first step that all my coaching clients go through in order to get into the coaching program. But that's not the point. You will walk away with extreme value no matter what. If we're uh, fit to work together, we can talk about that too. But I want to give you the value right now on how to create that better career in life on your terms. Let's uncage you, okay? Thanks for the time. We'll chat soon. Hey, Matt here. Thanks for listening to Uncage Yourself. For show notes and more content like this, head over to uncageyourself.fm. And if you liked what you heard, I'd appreciate you leaving a review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Until next time, be well, my friend.